Okay, hi. So, um, okay, hi. I am trying again after some pretty amazing responses from what I initially shared in my first video. I have decided to really try to science it up and help more people in my own little way. I did a ton of research, obviously compiled a myriad of stuff, but I want to break it up into smaller episodes because I find that I get super distracted and if I see the episode is too long, I just die. It's a bit rich coming from me when I made an 18 minute episode, but I'm going to try my best to keep it short. I don't know if it's going to work and we're going to kick off. So this episode is about what ADHD is and my story of my diagnosis and kind of a little bit of me growing up with it and where I am now. And this is going to be broken up into little bitty parts. Part two is going to be, do you have ADHD? Kind of a little quiz for you to see if maybe you should go get it checked. And part three, or episode three part is, what now? Like, okay, you have ADHD, so what the fuck? Like, um, part four, feelings. Intense feelings that you might have if you have ADHD. Like, just this burgeoning vomit of emotion. Part five is ADHD in women specifically and a test for women with ADHD or who might have ADHD and part six rejection sensitive dysphoria which is when you get super stressed or super sad or super scared that you fail all the fucking time and the last part so far who knows right I might have a tome by the end of this is executive dysfunction when you just cannot and you look at an excel sheet and you're like or you have to pay a bill and you're like you know like just like so we're gonna hopefully cover all of that i might make more than one episode i might try and make all the episodes today who knows right now i'm in hyper focus mode but also rsd rejection sensitive dysphoria Dyspho dysphoria my best friend it's like you can't do it you're gonna suck you're gonna fucking fail you're gonna help nobody but then I have to consciously be like, no, fuck you, I'ma try. So we'll see how far I get today. I'm very excited. So, um, we're gonna go. What is ADHD? I've put reference links down below as well. And I will say if I have, and this has been very, 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 very helpful. This is from Reddit and I follow ADHD Reddit's page very heavily and they are amazing as support and helps me with a lot of understanding. Most of the questions I have, already have been answered. This was an excerpt from Reddit and I thought it was really 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 good and I will read it to you right now. Tell me if you like this format or not. I might not do it again. I don't even. Um, normal people have a mental secretary that takes 99% of the irrelevant crap that crosses their mind and simply deletes it before they like recognize it, right? I am paraphrasing. And so the mental workspace is clean like a nice shiny whiteboard. Well, people with ADHD, every single thing that comes is written directly on the whiteboard in bold red fucking marker. No matter what it is and no matter what has to be erased in order for it to fit. And that's why sometimes I forget some shit because I tried to remember new shit that wasn't as important but I have no prioritization in my brain. So, makes sense. It's like living in a soft, rain of post-it notes. My life is post-it. It's like I have to make a big effort to not post it everything because everything is important, everything is urgent, everything is I gotta do it now, 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 now. We are apparently also very good at working out the context of random remarks which means we're usually quick at getting jokes and also quick at serving them which is why sometimes people look at you like or like, huh, what? That's been my whole life and that just shakes the hand of RSD which makes me think I am not funny or boring or awkward or weird or socially like potato yeah i can't get distracted from my habit like my morning routine which you know link below like if something changes like yesterday there wasn't any more eggs in the fridge and it messed me up for like two hours straight like there was a two hour lag in the time that i usually start my day because there was no egg and I had to like improvise with like a sausage and scrambled eggs instead of a boiled egg. Like it seems really tiny but it really fucking messed me up. And 
that's okay that's just that's just how it is okay we also get overwhelmed and if there is too much stuff coming at us it's like when a puppy has three balls thrown out on the floor at the same time and they kind of just like I get excited and also anxious because I'm scared that I can't like work on all those things at the same time or I can't process it at all the same time but like it's so like exciting and I oh I can't miss anything and this mental FOMO and I so I have to get on it and then I get so stressed because I'm like oh I can never keep up with this and diminishing returns when trying to concentrate on what is a non-interactive task like data entry or reading a long form those are oh my god okay it is like holding on to a brick at arm's length for an extended period and it just gets longer and harder and feels slower and slower and slower and slower and slower and it eats at your soul and it spits it out and then it shits on it and the good 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 thing is that we have hyper focus and sometimes things just work like this or not when we get hyper focused we get super locked into it which is why like sometimes i get really hyped about improving the house and i want to get a new cupboard and it's all i can think about and i've, I've googled best cupboard the best colors for the cupboard, color trends in the world pantone color predictions which cupboard is more eco-friendly eco-friendliness does this company support eco-friendliness does it does it give you back like give the world money back to fix the carbon stuff like okay like what is the best can we afford the best who cares if we can't afford the best it's about investment investing in our future even if we do not have enough money we have to get the fucking covered so that's kind of like a 30 percent excerpt of what happens when i get hyped about a cupboard which started because i didn't know where to put my water at night medication works maybe for you I don't know. I don't know what I can say and what I can't say, but I'm just going to say that I'm not a medical professional. This is my take. This is my journey. I hope it helps someone. Please see a doctor. It has significantly fixed me quite a lot and I pee like hell. And did you know that people with ADHD also pee more because it gives us a sense of like satisfaction and or joy. Like we pee and we're just like, ah, that's nice. And that's what we crave and that's what we chase. Which is why, you know, some of us like feel really bad about it. But there's also like feeling like a nympho or like liking sex or like masturbating and like all that. That that whole thing is just chasing for satisfaction or binge eating on another scale, right? Or just trying to do things that feel good, you know, that it's a self-soothing thing. And at some point, I'm going to put in an episode about that. I should write it down in case I forget and also it's why it gives us reckless behavior like and we get addicted to substances and drinking and and all that stuff because we are just trying to find a way to regulate our freaking mind so our mind stops giving us shit sometimes the medicine also makes me go a bit but it also makes me reduce my appetite to a point where well I'm, I'm not starving I don't know about other people like they have different journeys but for me I'm an emotional eater so it's kind of helped a lot with me going like, oh, I need a chocolate to get through the day. I used to just eat and eat and eat because it gave me like a moment of peace. But if you're looking for it to lose weight really fast, please don't do that. Eat healthy, live generally healthy and, you know, you're beautiful the way you are. Take care of your body. Yeah. The Pomodoro technique is great. It's like a timer and you do your shit and then it goes ring at like 20 minutes 25 minutes or you can set it yourself you get like pulled out of your zone and then you can be like okay is this relevant to what i wanted to achieve today yes no maybe i don't know but it gives you that like yank if you go into a deep rabbit hole it's really helped me i put a link below you want to have a whiteboard or a piece of paper like a piece of a4 paper every day just like chilling on your desk and i call it my brain dump so the second i think of something really random like oh i wonder how many birds migrate in december and how many birds come back in february but it's snowing now so do they really come back how does migration work then i write it down birds migration how it worked question mark and at the end of the day i look at it and if it's not important i just strike it off but sometimes you don't need to know migration patterns of fucking birds unless you like birds then good for you what else what else what else if there are family members or friends or people that you're in love with and relationships with you just want to tell them not to overload your ass with with tasks that are short term because our memory for short term shit is shit and i can't find my keys i can't find my phone i forgot where i put my book i forgot where i put my pen i just had my pen did it disappear no it didn't disappear am i crazy no i'm not crazy why is my memory so bad i don't know oh my god i'm gonna get dementia young fuck shit this is the end of the world was i supposed to do laundry did i do the dishes it just 
if someone just was like, hey, did you remember to take out the trash? So you don't want to be a bad partner in a relationship or a bad friend, but you can ask them to maybe just write it down somewhere on a post-it and expect you to get it done either immediately or by today. I guess that will be a very gentle deadline and it wouldn't stress anyone out and you have to explain to them that you do want to try your best in your environment to like be amazing and contribute, but it's hard and this is the best way for you to be a solid um, human. Okay, things, things that might happen in the future if you get diagnosed and medicated, you want to not worry too much. Will I just spiral out of control and be useless again? But the thing is that, you know, you can't really worry about these things your whole life. It's like worrying about if you're gonna get squished by a car if you leave your house. I mean, it can happen to anyone and it fucking sucks. But like worrying about it doesn't actually make it better and it sounds easy to say and hard to digest which is why it's taken me a long ass time and I still have that fear. But relevant, don't discount it. At the same time, don't let it eat you up alive. You want people to be sensitive about it. You you don't want people or you don't need people in your life who are like, have you taken your pills today? You know, you want people who are going to be like, okay, um, you are being really emotional today or you're really edgy today. But not in a gaslighting way, does that make sense? Like someone who, who you're comfortable with being honest to you about. And saying, do you want to take your pills today? Not have you taken Do you want to take pills today? Or do you want to meditate? Or do you want to just, what is your plan? Let me support you. You need to find good people in your life. And if not, you need to get a therapist. That is the most important thing. Support. Support and chocolate, but not too much. And Okay, done that is what is adhd i probably said a lot of things that are irrelevant and if people find that i'm speaking too long i'm sorry i try to keep it really 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 short and it turns out it's 17 minutes in and i should cut the video already i'm gonna keep recording though and keep on going as long as i can so that i can edit the stuff and upload it when i have the the wave it's hard to explain but like you know if you have adhd you know when you're on the wave you gotta ride the wave you can't let it go like because you waste your day. Also RSD, I should be okay wasting my day. I don't know how I feel about it, but I will see you soon with my story.